lovelies welcome back to my channel i am deepa cms in case you don't already know so today's wig we're going to be trying out is from your lisa's hair is their deep wave wig with the type 4c curly edges all right so this is what the box came in like so it came in with a lot of goodies and i'm just going to go ahead to list that out for you so you have your wig cap you have the edges brush you have their sick band and you also have their melt band and it comes with eyelashes and of course the wig so this is the specification of the wig is a 13 by 4 lace front wig it's 22 inches is 180 density and my size cap is large all right so i went ahead to give you a quick show of what the wig looks like what the wig and the edges looks like and also the construction of the wig this is what is given so we're gonna get into the installation of this wig for this intro i decided to take my time with it because of the edges in front i didn't want to get any glue i didn't want to get any spray on it so i'm going to show you how i did that but first of all i'm going to go ahead to brush my hair into place get it out of the way so that when i put on my wig is not an hassle and to save my edges of course so i'm gonna go ahead to put on my wig cap i decided to skip the bod cap method because i just feel it's unnecessary sometimes i might be the only one that feels that but then again i'm gonna go ahead with my foundation i'm just gonna put that on on the lace and then put the wig on and then i'm gonna go ahead to apply that foundation also to the front lace to kind of just blend the knots and everything i didn't go ahead to bleach this wig i thought i could escape no i actually knew i could escape not bleaching it because the knots were so tiny so i knew i could get away with not bleaching it so i'm just gonna go ahead with the foundation like i said and put that on the front part of the wig and this is what the wig is given before install this is what it looks like straight out of the box nothing done to it no plucking whatsoever i regret not plucking before i put on the wig if i should say that but it's not like really a big deal but i could have just plucked but i'm going to explain that as we go on so now i'm taking my alcohol and then i'm just going to go ahead to clean the surface of where i'm going to put putting my wig which is the front of my hairline i'm going to go ahead to clean every dirt and oil so my wig can lay properly and then i'm just going to be using my ebbing wonderly spray you already know this is what i love using i'm going to be using that to lay down this wig i'm just trying to be more careful so i don't have the spray everywhere but honestly i feel the ebbing wonder lace spray actually has more precision than the got to be spray but yeah so i actually prefer this so i'm just going to go ahead i cut my lace into three as you can see so it helps me with the precision all right so i got to get to do this in sections and that's just a lot more easier for you to place down or for me to place down actually doing it in sections just kind of makes the work easier for me like i've noticed so i actually absolutely love doing my wigs in sections So I'm just going ahead to make that down with my tweezer, allowing that to dry also and just putting it down. Then I'm going to go ahead to do the third section. Very easy to install when you do it in sections. I actually just find that it's more easier doing it in sections actually. I said that a number of times but it's like easier for me in sections. So if you are struggling with installing, maybe you should try doing it in sections. I think it works better. So I'm going to go ahead to cut off the excess ear tabs. I'm just going to go ahead to cut it off and then I'm going to go ahead to cut my lace. I decided to use a razor blade for this install. It doesn't make any difference. It's kind of easier with the razor blade because you kind of get the, the rough edges which allows your install to be more flawless. So whichever one works for you because you can actually use the scissors too to get like a rough zigzag cutting. It just depends on how you do it. But the razor makes sure you always get that zigzag rough cutting. So I actually prefer it. So once I'm done cutting that lace, I'm just going to go back in with my Ebbing Wonder lace to kind of get any lace I left behind, kind of put that down. I just have the Ebbing Wonder lace sprayed on my edges comb and then I'm just pressing it in. 
So now I'm done applying my Evin Wonder Lace and you can see I have nothing. I got nothing on the edges. So that's what I was trying to avoid and I did that successfully. So this edges actually just go from the sides to the side. It doesn't get to the end. I don't know if you can see it. It doesn't get to the end of the hair. It just stops at the two sides. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead to take a water can and then I'm just going to go ahead and spray the hair to kind of get the curls and revive them to look more juicy so i'm gonna go ahead and spray that and then i'm gonna go ahead with my anti jackie coil lala i think anti jackie coil lala and apply it to it and then brush it out and then do the scrunch up method just to have those curls popping so if you don't know anytime you want your curls popping you want to use a conditional water and then you want to do the scrunch up method it just brings the curls back to life So once I'm done with that, I'm going to go ahead and take off my matte band and you can see how well laid this is. This is why I regretted plucking on my head, but we're getting there. I'm going to show you, but this is what is looking like straight out of the bath. I'm going to take my beauty blender and then I'm just going to apply my foundation to the part where it's white just kind of blend that in more then i went ahead to centralize the wig because i wanted that center part to pop then i'm going to go in with my wax stick and my flat comb and press that down So once I'm done using my hot comb, I'm just going to go ahead to focus on the edges. And guys, I feel for these edges, you can go ahead to brush it in if that's what you wanted. But I really wanted to showcase the edges curls, the curls of the edges. So I went ahead to not really brush it in. I just wanted it to give edges you get so i went ahead to pluck it a little bit i should have done this on the mannequin because when you pluck on your head you're gonna lift the lace i don't think there's any how you do it and you won't lift the lace because i really tried holding it down and plucking gently but it lifted the lace so you can see the lace is more obvious than before but that's okay that's my mistake i should have plucked it on a mannequin but i just didn't think i would pluck but it just became too much so i went ahead to pluck a little bit off both sides and then i'm just applying my ebbing wonder list to kind of have that like laid and give a center pattern if you see what i'm doing i just want that to like be centralized is that a word i don't know but i just wanted it to be like centered so you can go ahead to brush brush it all in if that's what you wanted but i just wanted the curls to come out and play i just wanted it to give edges as you can see what i'm doing on the screen so now i'm just gonna go ahead and comb the air out before applying my mousse I'm going to go ahead and apply mousse to the hair. I don't want the wet, wet look, but I still want the curls to be there. And I still wanted it to be like a bit more fuller than it looks. So that's why I went ahead to brush it out. And I'm just applying my mousse to kind of bring back the curls. But I wanted it to be fuller. That's why I brushed it out in case you're wondering. I just wanted the full look more because i just felt that's what works for me so i actually let it dry then i brush it out and then apply my mousse so it gives me that i don't know how to explain it but that's just how i work with my deep waves because i like it looking full so now i'm going to go ahead and apply my concealer to my pattern to kind of just give that flawless look a more flawless look and this is what we're having guys what do you think this is what it looks like let me know what you think down below in the comment section let me know if this is a wig you'll be trying out let me know if you like it let me know what you think about it all in all but i really like it i really like the edges and i love you can you have the option of brushing it in if this isn't what you like per se 
but i really love how everything turned out all right so i'm gonna go ahead to show you the full lens and this is what it looks like it just stopped underneath my boss that's the lens of the wig i couldn't show it off camera like that so i went ahead to show you guys and let me know what you think like i said down below that's really it for this video lovelies thank you so much for watching to the end of this video lovelies and if you're watching the end of this video you already know you're the what you already know you're the real mvp thank you so much lovelies and i'll see you in my next week video i love you bye Mwah.